97.3 City FM. Relevant radio. Africa, always. Africa, come down. TV Africa. Africa, put your microphone down. Yeah, that'd be cool. The petition is open. When we said that MPP was not ready yesterday to begin the case, Dr. Baumia himself, as you saw on television, admitted that some of his documentation was uh, updated last night. So yesterday when they were uh, looking for ways to adjourn the case, the actual reason was that they were not prepared and they had to uh, give Vigil to prepare him. Even with that night preparation, we realized that uh, um, the, the, the case he came to present does not represent anything that um, they, they, they had put on the table to begin with. First of all, there was no mention of the you know, transmission of results to some secret company for the results to be parted before they were sent back to Electoral Commission Stronghold. Now, the MPP well, has well, run away from that allegation completely. They are also saying that the pink sheets without signatures, they don't think that Bring the impact down. is consequential to the results of the election. Your so that one too, they are running away from it. They are also running away from their claim that they were, um, you know, some polling stations that didn't exist. Today, that was a very big embarrassment. I think that they concluded that the impact of that one also is I think we leave that for the so, court to decide, but are you satisfied with no, the process so far? I can't see the number, they, they, put your phone by their own admission said, I'm yeah. very satisfied, and I'm very happy that everything that went on in court was telecast live. So now, when we tell our story, Ghanaians will know that we are saying the same thing in court and we are saying the same thing uh, out of court. But the big story is that MPP has declared that they have no confidence in their polling agents throughout the country by the admission of Dr. Baumia. And I think that uh, we are in for very interesting times. They pulled out their evidence. Uh, they are almost about. Let me put this down. What did that? Uh. So we didn't know what they had to go down. And the same, we simply feel comfortable. We are waiting to have the opportunity, hopefully tomorrow, to have our team cross-examine Dr. Baumia. That was the way the team Africa, I beg really you to your name. Push, push your logo. We have to draw a distinction between allegations and evidence, and that is what is good about coming to court. There will be there will be so many allegations, and then a good examination is chief. A good cross examination will sift the wheat from the tail. There are many interesting highlights today, and um, 
who wouldn't go into the evidence before the court and suggesting, for instance, that they concede that they are polling agents, most all of them, almost all, sign the pictures at the time they signed them. But of course, he's giving a reason. Go back. He said, well, they may not be lawyers to understand the effect. But they did sign to signify that they were there. And so that they signed. Let's leave it for now. But I would say that we're seriously waiting and can't simply wait to have a go at cross examining uh, to show that this case probably ought never to have started. Probably uh, 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 practices as far as the elections were concerned. Today you had a very eminent you know, person in the form of Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya who worked us through all this. And those who listened to him were very, very happy that indeed we were not just making up when we said that these people were massive, you know, uh, uh, fraudsters. And, and at, at least today, when he told us that, according to uh, Fajan, everything that had occurred was a mistake except the declaration. And, 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 and that was interesting. The man admitted that indeed there had been voting, there had been some more practices, there had been same serial numbers, and yet his answer is that these were mistakes. If there were mistakes, but it goes to the very heart of the matter, then they ought to be uh, you know, uh, expanded from, from the records, and that indeed they ought to be annulled. And Nana uh, Dango Pufado declared the winner of the 2012 elections. And, uh, and as, as we moved on, it became very clear that John Dramani Mahama was not the winner of the 2012 elections. That's true. And I'm very happy that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia had walked through it, and, and, and we are all very happy. Tomorrow, we will continue. And I can tell you, no amount of cross-examination will shake this unshakable person. He, he is very, very resolute, very determined. His demeanor is excellent. And I can tell you, he, he demonstrates a person who is telling the truth nothing but the truth. So I'm very happy. But let me address you on the Sibin Katia's elementary school propaganda. That is to say that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was referring to a paper. He has never been to court before and therefore he does not understand it. And I can forgive him about that. The truth is this, that no one person can, can master all the details in his head. And so the court from time to time allows you to, to refresh your memory by looking at documents where you can speak to the issue. And that is exactly what Dr. Mahmoud Naomi did. And I can tell you what, when the counsels for the other parties sought to be served with those documents, the court allowed it, we allowed it, and they were served. And what did they do? Nothing whatsoever. It tells you that whatever Dr. Mahmoud Naomi was speaking from was from a very formed position. And I'm very happy that he had to refer to all these notes, and the court did allow it to happen.